Hey guys, so what, what we have today is uh, the furnace, I like my headlight, uh, the furnace went out and it still had a good bit of wood in it. So I'm going to uh, shoot a little bit of a video on what we, uh, what we ended up doing. So anytime you have with these central boiler classic edges, um, my E-Classic, anytime you see that you're not getting the right temperatures, there's a, there's a number of things that could be possible. But one of the key things is airflow. These gassers, well, what some people call these furnaces, um, these gassers need proper airflow for proper combustion um, and for an efficient burn. I was not getting proper airflow. I knew I wasn't getting proper airflow, but it was too hot to mess around with. So I worked the rest of the day. And then what I did was I came out here and uh, cleaned out the firebox. I wanted to make sure first that all my air airflow inside that firebox was good. So I'll show you what I did. So first thing I did was I took out all the ashes inside of the firebox. Um, and what I do is I put them in a metal container. Focus. I put it in a metal container like that and then the unburnt, unburnt wood over here. When I clean out my firebox, I actually put all the ashes in that metal garbage can. But when I'm cleaning to refire up uh, with the good stuff, the stuff that looks like charcoal, I reuse that. So once again, I took all this stuff out of here. I moved it around and I wanted to make sure that airflow inside the furnace was, was optimal. So. I checked that, cleaned all those, made sure there was no problems on this side. Checked that, that one made sure everything was good. Pulled that out, cleaned that, made sure that everything was good down there. I then come through here and you can see, focus. There we go. So uh, as you can see down here, um, there's a little bit of chunky stuff, but that was for me cleaning out the firebox. Made sure that airflow is maintained through the back. And then in the back, I actually opened that up as well, uh, made sure that, you know, no blockages. Airflow, perfect. So what I did is I came up front here. Obviously, you have the blower fan, you have the primary solenoid and the secondary solenoid, and this is for the reaction chamber right here. So when this, this doesn't open up partially until I think it's 550 degrees, and then it also it opens up the whole way and reduces this one at 750 degrees, and that's where you get your, you know, proper efficient burn so what's new and shiny yes the stepper motor the stepper motor took a crap on me so it is year three i don't know what oh here it is it's year three and this stepper motor wasn't functioning correctly so what i did was luckily i had a backup i took the old stepper motor out you want to make sure that the connections black for me it's black on the right blue on the left uh, align with that here and you can see the reds match up perfect um, make sure that everything aligns up and, and i i replugged that in so what we're going to do right here is i'll show you how the stepper motor works when i close the door i'm not going to actually close the door i'm just going to press a button and now i'm shutting it So that's how a proper stepper motor should function, and that is not how that one was functioning. So I ripped that one out, replaced it with a new one, and we are good to go. So quick video on some of the issues that I had. Um, I actually didn't even think about hitting record until I was, you know, darn near done with everything. But um, yeah, that something that simple. I, I always try to keep special uh, extra parts on hand. Um, I'm actually going to order another one of those stepper motors. I think they're cheap. They're like 60 bucks, something like that. But guaranteed, if this happened in January and my furnace went down, I'd be scrambling to find another stepper motor. So I'm going to go ahead and order a, uh, a spare part. That stepper motor is the same for both, both sides of the furnace, or both uh, solenoids, and or for both airflow, whatever you want to call them. Um, th that stepper motor is the same. So I'm going to order a spare one just to have it. And uh, we're going to fire back up here. All right. Close that up. Come on. All right, that's done.
Okay. Might have done a bad job on stacking it too tight. Let's hit her with some temperature time lapse. 